All right, can you get out? You're make you're. <laughs> Are you kidding me, David? Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Christine. I've been seeing a lot of new faces on here and I've been liking it. And for those of you who are not new, welcome back. So today's video, dun, 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 my boxy charm for the month of May is here. Somebody won my May boxy charm. Only two people entered, I don't know why. But two people entered and my winner was one of my subscribers. So congratulations to you. And I was thinking about doing a June boxy charm giveaway, but a lot of people are, are, you know, not like entering the giveaway. And it's like, what am I doing wrong? I don't understand. People don't want to win free makeup. Like, I don't get it. But that's okay. Hey, that's okay. So if you guys are interested in what is inside of my June boxy charm, then just keep watching. All right. Kind of scratched my face there, but that's okay. Anyways, ugh. So my hair is up in a big ass bun today i was like i'm i can't do this right now i need i need to put my hair up okay so all right let's get into it i have my scissors i have my scissors i'm prepared i'm prepared let's dive in and let's see what this month's theme is for those of you who don't know what boxy charm is boxy charm is a monthly subscription box for 21 dollars a month you get anywhere between five to six full size makeup products from brands that you know of that are sold in Ulta and Sephora and maybe some new upcoming brands that you may have not heard of and you get to try out new makeup That's exciting. So let's dive right in surprisingly. I didn't see any sneak peeks this month So that makes me super 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 happy All right, the theme this month we got boxycharm getaway Very cute theme very summery vibe right here. Can you guys see that? Yeah, okay. Don't want to look at the back right now Let's dig in for product number one. Hmm. Product number one. Ooh, we got another product from the brand Norpro, No Pore Blem Prime Essence. This is a from the brand Touch and Soul. What is this though? Um, another primer? Why would we need another primer? This is made in Korea, so good stuff. I just want to know if there's fragrance in here i've been into this favorite fra fragrance kick can't even speak today so this is looks like it's a primer let's see huh what is this we're gonna have to come back to this i like the packaging though it's so different it has a twisty cap and it has like this little squeezy tube let's put it in the back of my hand and see yeah it's like seems like a gel type of primer smells flowery it's a very watery product, like very watery, but it's a gel formula. So I'm gonna let this dry in the back of my hand and see what happens. Ingredients, oh, here it is. Yep, there is fragrance in here. That sucks so much, so, so much. It's taking a minute to dry. Oh, it says exactly what this is. Prime essence infused with Calendula officinalis flower extract, tightens up the pores and keeps the Skin silky and smooth for better and long-lasting makeup. So it's a long-lasting makeup product and it basically tightens up your pores. And you're supposed to uh, apply a moderate amount and gently pat over the skin until it's fully absorbed. So you're basically supposed to tap it in. Um, but it makes the back of my hand feel very, very smooth and soft. So like that. I do like their primer that we got in a couple boxes ago. So you hear that? <laughs> I don't like that sound. All right. Product number two. We got, ooh, what is this? Steve Laurent Jelly Highlighter in the color Prosecco, please. All right. So Steve Laurent sounds expensive. Why do I know of that name? Steve Laurent, does, does he sell makeup or purses or something? He seems very famous. Okay, so I'm going to packaging. Very cheap. It's like drugstore quality, like, I don't like that. Very empty feeling, but the highlighter might be completely different. So I'm going to do a hand swatch. This is what it looks like packaging um like i said pretty cheap but the highlighter looks very promising 
I see a lot of glittery flecks in here. Oh my gosh, that was so weird. It literally is a creamy based highlighter. Wow, okay. So I'm going to swatch it. Let's do a nice big swatch. The color is a gold, like a golden color. Ooh, like a rose gold color. Ooh, this is nice. It kind of reminds me of the ColourPop formula, the Super Shock Cheek Highlighters, but this is what it looks like. That's really pretty. It looks nice and wet, metallic-y and wet. Oh, on the eyes? This must be so beautiful on the eyes. Yes. All right, product number two. Interesting. I'm waiting for that <gasps> moment. Product number three. Let's see, let's see face masks or something oh yes we got pure lease matcha green tea antioxidant sheet masks and we got three of these bad boys i like it i like it and of course there's fragrance in it but whatever this is supposed to prevent premature aging hyperpigmentation leave skin healthy beautiful and radiant matcha i used to drink matcha i don't drink it as much but it's moisturizing rejuvenating anti-aging all right i'm not gonna try that out in this video i'm gonna be doing another video trying out these products i like that product i don't use as much sheet masks as i should i hate the cold feeling and having to sit there for 15 to 20 minutes it's a little uncomfortable. That was product number three. Product number four. Let me get the smaller one. I want to save the big one for last. Oh, what is this? Dose of colors? We got dose of colors again. This is a, what is this? What is this? What is this? I don't know what it is, but it's in the color strawberry lemonade. What is this? This is so, okay, I can't open it. Unless I'm ripping the box. I don't really want to do that. Ooh. All right. Let's see what this is. This is a lip gloss. <gasps> Whoa. This is not Dose of Colors. This is not Dose of Colors. I don't know what brand this is. Oh, Dominique Cosmetics. It's right on the box. So Dominique Cosmetics. And I got it in the, in the color Strawberry Lemonade. And it probably smells and tastes like it too. It's a a pinky like a baby type of pink not a baby pink it's almost like a hot pink but muted let me put it like that i like the packaging it still feels a little cheap but i like like the whole clear yeah okay Ooh. <gasps> that smells so good oh my god that smells so good i gotta oh who that I gotta try this on. Hold on. Ah, uh, it smells like vanilla frosting. Mmm. Oh my god. So basically, it's a clear lip gloss on my lips. I don't see any color coming off. Ooh. So the formula is a little heavy. I could, I could kind of feel it. Not too bad. But it's not sticky. It's almost like my e.l.f. lip gloss, my lip plumping one where when you smack your lips together there's like no stringy stickiness you know what i mean but touching it huh, touching it is not that bad either it's a nice formula when you swatch it like on my finger it's pink but on my lips it looks like a gloss very cute and smells delicious and then product number five last but not least Ooh, we got a Tarte product. This is the BU Naturally Eyeshadow Palette. I have gotten a couple of Tarte eyeshadow palettes. To be exact, I want to say two. This is going to be the third one. I don't reach for them as much, honestly. But, wow. this Their packaging is always so stunning. I can't even take it, but look at this. It is so perfect for traveling. I just wish that they had a palette that just was perfect. You know what I mean? Right away, packaging is so beautiful. Um, it has like those, I don't know what kind of plant that is, but those big green leaves with those big cutout holes in them. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And this, oh. So, mm, okay. Looking at this palette, it's very pretty. 
but there it is this like a cool tone palette yeah, to me this seems a little bit of both. It's like a little bit of warm and a little bit of cool. So it's pretty and you have a nice size mirror. Oh my God, the mirror is so perfect. I can see my entire face in it. So I really like that. But I don't know, a lot of these colors I feel like I would not use, especially like this pink and mm, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty though. Nice try tart, but not for me, I think. The warm tones I could definitely dig but not like the pink it's probably the only color that i would not use in there and this uh shimmery shade called i'm thinking earthy i don't know it's kind of difficult to read it but i like that we got a, an eyeshadow palette especially from tarte this is a high-end product i mean you pay 21 dollars for this box and the box is always well over a hundred dollars so we're gonna go over prices i like this palette as far as like the concept of it, we got a high-end palette, so I think it's cool. Are we all done? Ah, all done. No more products in the box. Ah. All right, so let's calculate how much the box retails for entirely. So the Tarte eyeshadow palette retails for $36. Let's add that in the calculator. The Touch and Soul No, Pro no Problem Prime Essence, this retails for $23. Ugh, it's a little expensive. So let's add that to the calculation. The Dominique Cosmetics lip gloss retails for $17. The Steve Laurent highlighter retails for $26. That's expensive for some packaging like this. Very disappointing. And the Pearlese Matcha Green Tea Antioxidant Sheet Mask. You get three of them. This retails for $24. That's pretty pricey, but you get three of them. Hopefully, they make your skin like you get a new face, right? So the whole box this month costs $126. That's pretty insane. The fact that you pay $21 a month and you get five to six full-size products and you only pay $21. Um, if you ask me... That's pretty amazing. So you guys, that is all for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I am thinking about doing a giveaway. I just don't know. Leave it in the comment section below. Should I do a BoxyCharm giveaway for the month of July? I might not do one for June. I'm not really excited for this box, honestly. I rate this box mm, like a two out of five. Yeah, like a C minus. I'm not super excited. The product that I'm most excited for basically is this pore primer. That's it. And I'm kind of excited for the mask. But you know what? BoxyCharm has been killing it. Killing it, killing it. So, you know, I want to see if this is a cool tone palette. Yeah, it's got cool pinks. I am not about that. And it's got brown tones, but just not feeling it this month. But it's not bad. And I'm not knocking BoxyCharm. I love me some BoxyCharm. Love it, love it, love it. This month, I'm just not so like... <gasps> Okay, so for the primer, it's $23, so I basically paid for this and $26 for this, so it was worth it, I guess. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? And don't forget to click the little bell so that way you can get notified each time I drop new videos. And until then, I will see you in my next one. Bye!